Hey guys, Post Malone here, and today we are going to be looking at another crazy combo deck, and uh, this one is going to be a Serena deck. Uh, once again, Serena GX is a really interesting card. It's got a really powerful attack that unfortunately just takes a lot to get going, especially, especially because you need a lot of cards to do it. You need like stuff like Chaos Tower, and you need stuff like Nihil Hego. We looked at it before with Haunter, and we're going to try and look at it today again with... Probably gonna butcher the name, Nyla Higo. I'm just gonna call it Nyla Higo. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Anyway, so this crazy combo deck is gonna be interesting. There's a lot of combos within this combo. Like the first combo is straight up just gonna be jumping sidekick with Empty Light. So what we do is we drop Empty Light. We have Chaos Tower in play, um, which if I know you can't read it, but if you flip your head upside down, basically any confused Pokemon, they're not confused. So Nyla Higo will not confuse your Serena. Which is good. And then what we do is then we do Serena's jumping psychic attack for 180 damage. And we knock something out. We put a choice band on. We do 210. We hit bigger numbers on Galissa Pod, Nine Tails, Zoarks, stuff like that. And that's going to be the combo for today's video. Now, the combo is still really hard to pull off because in standard, it's kind of hard to get your Nyla Higos going every single turn because in, in standard, we don't really have many cards to work with outside of stuff like Ace Rolla and Super Scoop Up. And I didn't want to run Super Scoop Up because we already play Rare Candy. We already play so many items in this deck. It's really clunky and I just did not want to do Super Scoop Up because it's just, it clunks things up. So we're going to run a little bit of a weird version of the method of returning Nyla Higo to our hand. We're going to be using another combo, which is going to be Damage Mover, Ace Rolla, and to a degree, Rainbow Energy. And these are what we're going to be using to return Nyla Higo to our hand. So what we want to do, Serena takes a hit. It's got 230 HP. It is pretty bulky, so it will probably live a hit. And what we do is we damage mover to Nyla Higo, and then we ace roll of the Nyla Higo back into our hand, and we drop it down, and then boom, we got jumping sidekick working again. It is a lot to ask for. And this is not a very good deck. Now, one thing I will say, I think it expanded. I think it expanded. Serena does have more potential because you can... You have access to stuff like AZ. So I do want to look at Serena in Expanded at some point. So if you guys wanted to see that, um, drop a comment and like on the video. And I'll consider doing a Serena Expanded video down the road. So Serena does kind of do that combo. It is hard to pull off because you have to run so many cards. You need Damage Mover, Rainbow Energy, Ace Rolla, Chaos Tower. And you have to have the Nyla Higo in your hand, which we only play two of. The bench will probably be a little full because it is a Stage 2 deck. <sighs> It's just too clunky. It's too clunky and standard for this deck to work. It is still a funny combo to look at. We're still going to try the combo regardless of um, if we get, you know, if boss or not. Even if we lose. As long as we can pull up the combo, it's all I care about. It's a wacky combo. It's really the only way I th think can, that I think Serena could work with Nyla Higo is with this kind of combo with Damage Mover, Ace Rolla, Rainbow Energy, and whatnot. So that's kind of how the combo is going to work. Let's look at some other cards in the deck. We do play Zoark GX, mainly here for the ability trade. Again, there are going to be situations where we do need to get a lot of cards in our hand, like Damage Mover, Ace Rolla, Chaos Tower, stuff like that. So sometimes we do need to do trade, which gives us an extra odds of hitting those cards. Um, I was considering Octillery too, but Zoark provides a good backup attacker. And with Nyla Higo, Zoark could actually be kind of threatening. Um, we do play two Lele's, of course, for Wonder Tag. Uh, we do play one Vulpix in this deck for Beacon. Beacon will allow us to be able to get our Serenas going. We can even do Beacon for Nihigo. Like, sometimes we can do, like, Beacon for, like, Serena and then also for Nihigo. And we have Rare Candy in our hand. And Rare Candy do Serena and then Jumping Sidekick because we grab the, uh, both those cards. And Vulpix is another way to get this card in your hand. Oh, another thing with Nihigo. There's not really any good way to get it in your hand efficiently. So that's kind of why we do got Vulpix in here. One Coco. It's a great starting Pokemon. But another big thing is when you're playing as Gardevoir, your Serena is only doing 210 at most. And uh, we can finish them off later with Tapu Koko's Flying Flips. That's the logic behind Tapu Koko in this deck. So yeah, those are all the Pokemon. We do play a 4-1-3 split of Serena, Bounce Sweet, Steenie, and Serena. And then we got two now. He goes, I'm only going to play two. You could play three if you wanted to, but I think we can get away with playing two. It's not that bad. There's Ultra Ball in the format and also Fan Club. Um, speaking of which, let's go into the items. We've got three damage movers. Again, this goes with the whole combo of the deck. We're going to try and damage mover on Nile Higo and then Ace Rolla it. Because um, once we get one Nile Higo down, that combo can start rolling. So that's kind of why we only play two anyways. Three candies to go into your Serena. There's so many other cards in this deck. I can't really afford three candies in here. One Rescue Stretcher to be able to get your Pokemon. This is a really important card to be able to get back here, Nile Higo. Because this is another way to put Nile Higo straight into your hand. 
So maybe even two stretchers is good. Doesn't hurt to have an extra one either to get some Pokemon back in your deck if that happens. Four Ultra Balls to be able to search out your deck. Ultra Ball is actually really important with Nihiligo because it's one of the only ways you get it into your hand efficiently. Other than stuff like Pokemon Fan Club. For Chaos Tower, this is obviously one of the things that keeps this deck going. Without Chaos Tower, Serena would be too risky. Then we would have to retreat or just flip to attack, and if it fails, um, yeah, rip us. Three Ace Rollas, this is how we're going to do the Nihiligo combo. We do play two Lusamine. This is another card that kind of goes with the combo, because Chaos Tower is not really going to stay in play that much longer, because a lot of decks are now taking in three Field Blowers. Field Blower alone is a threat. You also have to worry about other counter stadiums like Poe Town and Parallel City. So, yeah, Lusamine is here to get back those Chaos Towers. Um, even Ace Rollo can be pretty useful to keep that combo going. Four ends for draw support. I like four ends over four Sycamores. The reason we play three is because you don't want a Sycamore away like a bunch of important cards like Rare Candy, Damage Mover, Serena. And it does end up happening in, this, in the games I get, so it is a little unfortunate. So, that's why I do have four ends. Cynthia, hurry up. We do play one Pokemon Fan Club um, to be able to get our Pokemon. One of the big things with Fan Club, though, is it does grab your Nail Higo. So maybe even two Fan Club is better than one. There are going to be times, though, where you might want to do Lusamine or Ace Rolla over Fan Club, because it is your supporter for the turn. There's even another um, supporter card called Trevor, um, hashtag GTA5, hashtag Simon, which you can use Trevor. Oh, wait, it's not even, wait, is it not even legal? It's not even legal. Never mind. Never mind. It's not even legal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's not even legal. Okay. Well, you also have Olivia. I thought Trevor was still legal, but you do have Olivia, I guess, which could work, too. Sure. Um, but the problem with Olivia, it's not going to be able to get you basic um, non gx Pokemon. Sometimes Fan Club is just good turn one to be able to get like a Bounce Sweet and a Zorula. So I think Fan Club is better than Olivia in here. Uh, yeah, we got three Choice Bands to be able to do that 210 because it's important on some Pokemon. One Float Stone to be able to retreat, especially on Nightly Higo, but with the Ace Rollas, it's not really a big deal to play any more than one. Plus, we have Lusamine, so we do have access to a lot of Ace Rollas if you think about it. So one Float Stone we can get away with. We do play four uh, DCEs because we need that for Jumping Sidekick. We do have DC for stuff like Zoark also. Three rainbows, and I've gone with three. Again, it goes with the whole Nali Higo combo. There might be times where they don't even attack you. Like, what if they, like, just stall, like, with Beacon or something like that? So sometimes we don't really need to do that. We do have rainbow. Sometimes we could rainbow energy with Trickster GX. And you actually see I did use Trickster in one of my games I got, and it actually kind of worked out in my favor. We can even use Tapu Cure to heal Serena. It's got a lot of HP. But most importantly, maybe, just maybe, we can power up Symbiont GX and play that. That would be a really good way to actually turn the tide in your favor. Because this deck is really clunky, it's kind of slow, your opponent can take prizes before you get going. So, sometimes Sim Symbion G or Symbiote, I don't know, Sim whatever, Symbion GX could really help you out. And five Grass Energies. Five, because a lot of decks are playing Enhanced Hammer now, so Rainbow isn't always good for Serena. So yeah, this is my Serena Nile Eagle Crazy Combo deck. It's a crazy deck. I got two good games with it. I don't want to spoil what happens in those games. I do pull off the combo um, in one of those matches. Um, one game was kind of tough. We did stick it out and we were able to come kind of close to winning. So, well, we came close to winning both matches, but it it was pretty cool. So stay tuned, find some matches, and I'll show you guys the games. All right, guys, let's get some games with our Serena deck. I'm not really expecting too much out of this deck, in all honesty. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost all our matches, but if we can get some good games, then that's all I care about. And let's see, Gardevoir. We cannot one-shot Gardy. But we'll try and win this match regardless. I think we will put up a fight if we can. Gardevoir is pretty tough to beat. I mean, they have Sylveon, and I think Plea is kind of all... That puts the final nail in the coffin, because they just Plea us, so... Oh, my opponent just immediately conceded. Is he expecting me playing Galissapod? Okay, well, look at that. Serena beats... Serena beat Gardevoir. There's my title for the video, Kappa. No, I'm kidding. Oh, it wasn't. He's was playing... Oh, I see. He's playing Zygarde, but... Why would he still... That's actually a pretty bad matchup because of the uh, the whole de-evolve thing, but okay, I guess. I don't know why he conceded, but cool. We're actually close to getting these 150 coins, meaning we can buy a pack of Crimson Invasion after two prizes or one more win. And that's what I'll go for. I'll try and do, like, a couple games. We'll see how this goes, of course. As long as we can do the combo, that's technically all I gotta do. But I don't want to do another short video, because I had a Lolan's video. Tour video was also kind of short, but I don't know. So, I mean, we pull up the combo, it's all that matters, right? We're unfortunately going to lose the coin flip here. I think Serena and uh, Nyla Higo would actually be pretty good in Expanded with AZ. And we have a pretty awful hand for it, but... 
Uh, unless we can draw Serena somehow and do Serena's side eye attack and try and buy some time, but I don't think that'll work. Garb. Okay, at least Garb's not going to do much damage to me early on. Parallel. Okay, thank you for putting that down now. And he's ending me. Okay, this dude is my good friend. Because look, he just put a stadium down, which he easily could have used to counter my Chaos Tower. And he's ending me. Give me a new hand. I feel happy right now. We do find Nyla Higo. But I don't want to play that. I think what we'll do is just float and grass energy and go from there. Another rare candy. Yeah, we don't really need Nyla Higo right now. Let's just end him. And try and get a Vulpix. Hey, there you go. I called it. Alright, so I'm assuming he's playing Garb Drampa. Espeon would be pretty bad too. Alright, let's just do Beacon. I think I'm gonna grab. Do we have... I don't think we play Skyla. I think I'm just gonna grab Steeny and Lele. One Lele's prized. Yeah, we don't. I could grab Fan Club. I could grab N off Lele. I think we'll just. Yeah, I think that's fine just to grab these two. Maybe another Bounce Suite wouldn't have been bad. I think we'll just do Ultra Ball next turn then. I'll grab the... I think it's still fine. Just grab Lele and Stini. Noivern. Okay, I'm actually excited to see how this game goes. I do want to try a Rare Candy as soon as I can though. This is probably like if I do... Okay, but I'm playing AM. So it looks like Vulpix won't be getting KO'd this turn. I do want to play my candies now. So if I can find Rare Candy Serena here, this would be really nice. No, we got Serena, but no Rare Candy. Of course, it's another item. Well, we'll get rid of Grass Energy and I guess... Ultra Ball. Ah, I don't want to do that, but... Had to. Unfortunately, we can't one-shot Noivern either. Even with the poison damage. Just Lele for N, I guess. Hope to find Rare Candy Serena. If not, we can find either another Bounce Suite or a Steeny. Okay, we got Rare Candy, so that's fine. Do you have Chaos Tower? I think I'm going to hold that, though. I could play Damage Mover. I would I, I would have loved to do that if I had a uh, thing in my hand. If I had any uh, Nyla Heal. I could just do that now. Because Garb Odor doesn't... Okay, still not knocking us out. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, we're fine. Let's just do Beacon. I'm going to grab a... I'm actually going to have Zorua and Bounsweet. Oh, Bounsweet? What am I doing? Serena and Zorua. Actually, I could just grab the Nyla Higo now. Because we can try and knock out Noibat. I think I'm just going to do this, though. We could save it for next turn, knock out Garbodor. Maybe I should grab Nyla Higo, I don't know. Because we could play a lot of cards to manipulate it. So I don't, maybe it was better to grab that. Field Blower. Alright, so now Vulpix gets knocked out by Garb. I'm actually fine with that getting discarded, though, because we can actually play a Choice Band on Bounce. We need another end. No! Alright, I guess we just hope he doesn't find Garb off this, but we already know that's going to happen. We can't find Rare Candy Serena. We are going to be in trouble. We do not find it. We are in trouble, especially if he gets Garb. That works, too. And that's actually even worse, because he's going to knock me out. Plays with Magius, too. That's pretty bad. Floatstone? Does he have the energy to distort me? He doesn't. Okay. Alright, let's just play this down now so I can Ultra Ball for Zorua. I, I mean, we got Lusamine. It's all good. I could do Damage Mover, actually, which I kind of want to do. I don't know. Ah, man, I actually don't want to grab Zorua here. But I kind of have to. I need to get my Zorark down ASAP. And let's just beacon once again for Steeny and I guess Nyla Higo. So I'm, whatever I draw, I'm probably going to discard with trade, so yeah, I'll grab these two. Just so I have the Nyla Higo in my hand, even though it reveals that I have it, but whatever. 
I'm definitely gonna get knocked out too. So this is my last beacon of the game. We've played a few items too. Garbodor is gonna be doing big damage. Garbotoxin, no Nihilahigo. We can't do trade or Nihilahigo, which is pretty bad. My original strategy was actually maybe just go for Righteous Beating here. Hmm. I guess we just bring in Lele then and just hit him with Energy Drive, I guess. Rainbow. That would have been such a good card to discard, too. Rip me. Alright, well. I almost put Rainbow Energy on. That would have been bad. And I guess we Energy Drive. I don't think I play Field Blower, actually. I can't remember if I put it in the deck. I'm pretty sure I don't have any because this deck is so clunky. This might be over ASAP because once he gets um, Garbo... I mean, all we can really do is maybe just hope to ride just beating him. But even then, he's going to just hit me with Noivern's second attack. The end's a start. I could put Nyla Hego down now, build up Lockup or Symbiont, but I think I'm just going to do this so we can maybe build up Trickster. And let's see what this end gives us. It gave us not much to work with. I guess we energy drive him once again. Can't really do much right now. But at least we're going to have to force him to knock me out with Sonic Volume, and then maybe we could just knock him out with Serena next turn. Which is probably going to be the play. Ooh, Miss Magius Neuvern. That just sparked an idea in my head. <laughs> that sparked an idea in my head for a video. Ah. Ah, gonna crack the neck a little bit. Alright. So at least we're going to force him to... Oh, he's going to distort me, so... I mean, he can retreat. This Neuvern's easily going to be KO'd by a Boom Burst, though, from, right, just from Trickster. Wait, I can't copy a GX deck, can I? Okay, we can. He's going to play Sean. The meme card... E-Hammer. Oh, come on. It's getting rid of Saru. Interesting. Hmm. Surprised he didn't get rid of the active. Hmm. Or even this would have been good too because we can ride just beating. That's fine. We got Chaos Tower. Doesn't really matter at this point anyways. Because... I don't know if we're going to be able to play abilities this match. I really don't want to end him here. I really don't want to I couldn't do Lusamine actually, but... There's nothing really to grab. I think we end him and just try and find the rainbow energy to boom burst him here. We do not hit it. We do find a Serena, though, so it's looking up. We don't have a Sycamore, though. Man, that whip is pretty bad. I think we just gotta energy drive him here for a decent amount of damage. 80. I could maybe just do Side-Eye on this Miss Magius. No, it has one retreat. I can't. Because he can just retreat. Oh, man. How much did retreat does Mistrevis have? One. Everything here can retreat or attack me, so I can't really stall with Side-Eye. Ooh, he's retreating too. That's interesting. Hmm. Does he not have the energy to Sonic Volume me or something? He, I mean, okay. I think Sonic Volume would have been better because then obviously we really could not attack him. I don't even know if Serena's the right play here. How much is Garb doing? Okay, it's doing like 120. There's nothing to side eye. Yeah, he also plays Guzma too, right? Might be better to bring in Bound Sweeps. I think we have to stall. He can't one-shot me. We'll force him to Sonic Volume me. Yeah. We're not drawing very well right now. This is not good. This is not good at all. Two Sycamores. Yikes. The arms are drawn here. are not looking too hot. We're out of ends, right? Yep. Yeah, rip. So we, even if we get a prize, this matchup, I mean, I think we could win this if we could actually, you know, get things going. I think once the Sonic volume is me, it's game over. I mean, oh, he's still, okay. I mean, I know, okay, that's like, what, the 20th time I said I mean, but 
I guess we could build up Serena with basic grass energy, but that's really not what I'm looking for. Once he knocks out Bounce Wheat, he goes down two prizes. You could take a big knockout with Trash, yeah. I mean, I think it's too late to uh, do anything about this. How much HP does he have? Yeah, sick. We can't even, like, boom burst him and, like, try and knock this out and knock this out and take, like, three prizes. Try and catch up. I think it's too late. He, oh, okay, he actually puts another Dark on, which I'm fine with. That's one less energy we have to worry about for Side-Eye. DCE, okay. I guess we attach it to Serena and pass. I'm thinking of maybe doing Flying Flip at some point. But again, it knocks my, it, he just forces the Sonic Volume play. We're going to see an Ultra Ball. Probably grab another Miss Magius. He hasn't played many support. Like, he hasn't done a Guzma yet either, which is pretty scary. I mean, this crazy combo deck, it's, it's a crazy combo, but it's supposed to work when you get everything going. And when you're playing against an item lock deck with Garboder, you this deck literally gets shut down. <laughs> this is basically an auto loss, but it's possible to win if you got things going. Because again, Northern's not doing much damage at first. Another Ultra Ball. Grabbing nothing. I think he's just thinning, which is smart. And Sycamore. Rip. That's not making things better. Once he finds Guzma, it's over. Choice Band. Surprised not putting on Miss Magius. He could do Dark Arts. Because we have a handful of items that we can't play, and Dark Arts could potentially one-shot us. Another Rescue Stretcher. I mean, sure. It's only two Pokemon that probably are irrelevant at this point. Which makes that a weird play, because it's two cards he might not want to even have in his deck at the moment. But I don't think it matters at this point. He's literally just two prizes away from winning. There's no non-EX attacker we can hit him with. So I think it's over. But at least we can knock something out with Serena. We can't use the crazy combo, though. But at least we get a prize with Serena's jumping sidekick. I would like to do Boom Burst here, though. That'd be pretty sick. Trickster Boom Burst. Ace Roll. I could be crazy. Ace Roll the Serena. And then Flying Flip. And then get knocked out. I think we hold. Yeah, let's just jump in Psychic him here. We can maybe get a Sikkim off the prizes, but that just beats that Garboder. I, I don't think we can do anything here. There's another Energy. Not a Rainbow. I was hoping for Rainbow Energy there. So I do want to do Trickster and Boomers, but just can't do it now. At least we took prizes this match. At least we knocked something out with Jumping Sidekick. We had Field Blower, though. We'd actually maybe be able to potentially get back in the game. Because we knock out this Noivern. We can't put Choice Band down. There's not th I mean, The only way we can get out of this, we fill our bench up and then do Righteous Beating. But the end confirms that it's not going to happen. One, yeah, we need to fill up our entire bench here and get rid of him in the active. So, don't look like it. Unless we can... Okay, maybe we could draw... I don't... Do we have Fan Club still? We could draw Fan Club here, maybe. I don't know. That's too late. There's Rainbow. Ah, a little too late, though. We could do Double Damage Mover. Sure. Such a crazy play, I know. I'm going to go Sycamore here. Like, it doesn't even matter at this point. But at least we get out of range of being knocked out by this. Only be knocked out by this, so it doesn't matter. I kind of do want to do that Ace Roller, though. We're just not doing much damage with Zoark. Do we lose next turn? Hmm, yeah. Garboder gives him the win if I didn't... Ugh, it doesn't matter. I think we gotta do it. I gotta keep trying to stall him here. I think that's all I can really do at this point. <laughs> right, just beating for a total of 60 damage. He just retreat Garboders me. Best I could do is stall for a bit, but I don't think it matters. Does Steenie have any attacks I could use? Sweet Scent, Stomp, yeah, we could do Sweet Scent, heal our Coco, and then lose the game that way. 
I mean, it's kind of inedible at this point, but it's whatever. He's going to boom burst me. Interesting. Okay, we actually are able to get a decent amount of prizes this match. Rip, I was hoping for a rare candy there. Does boom burst hit the active? We could boom burst, hit the active, go from there. But we lose, right, to Garb. Yep, Garb stole. Unless we find... Nah, not even damage mover would matter. Could go... Man, I was hoping for a rare candy top deck there. And then I was going to try and side-eye this thing and try and find Guzma and go from there. Don't look like it matters, because... Yeah, that was my play. Side eye, hope he doesn't retreat, and then knock this out, and then go from there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I think we just gotta accept the loss here. Just take the L. Just boom burst him and take a big L. I guess, yeah, sure. Just for maximum image. At least we took two prizes. At least we took two prizes. Technically, we were a little close to winning, if you want to call it that, but nah, not really. But whatever, we'll take our we'll take our two prizes and then accept the loss. So he's bringing in Miss Magius, though. Is he trolling? Are you actually gonna... Okay, never mind. Wait. Hmm. That is not a good play. Be oh, wait, wait. Oh, he only had one prize. Never mind. <laughs> Forgot. I was like, why was he doing that? Like, I thought he had knockout out Zoark still, but it's whatever. I didn't realize he still had to take... Didn't realize the one prize. That was a tough matchup, though. <laughs> the lock is so strong. Like, what are you supposed to do? We'll see you guys in another match with the deck. And... No, never mind. We're gonna buy a pack first, and then I'll see you guys in another match with the deck. I do need to do that combo, though. Can't end the video until we do the combo, but I'm just gonna try and find a game cherry pick it at this point and uh, go from there. So we'll buy a nice Crimson Invasion pack. I have not pulled a single GX slash EX card in maybe like, I don't know, nine, eight packs, something like that. My pulls have not been very hot recently. So if this is a EX or GX, that'd be greatly appreciated. Specifically a Buzzwool. A Silvali wouldn't be bad. Something big I could trade off would be good. <sighs> Salazzle. These Crimson Invasion packs are so bad. You get nothing good in them, I swear. That's like, what, the ninth, 10th pack I've opened? Alright, whatever. Let's just find another match in just a moment. So I'll see you guys in another game. And probably will be a game where I do show off the combo a little bit All better. Alright guys, let's get another game with our deck. Hopefully we can get a crazy combo game off. Again, I'm probably going to cherry pick this game. So this might not even be the game. Depending on how good it is. Once we show off the combo, it's all I care about. I just don't think this combo could work in standard. In expanded, this deck might have some potential because of AZ. But in standard, unfortunately, this deck falls flat in its face. I was honestly tempted just to do this in expanded than standard, but I already got the game against the Noivern deck, kind of committed. 20 minutes of my time, so I guess we gotta do it in standard. I'm, I'm, I'm down to do this in expanded again, though. Because it is a pretty pretty good deck in expanded, just because of AZ. In standard, it's like, yeah, you gotta rely on Super Scoop Up, and Serena can't do enough damage consistently. Like, 90 just doesn't cut it. Lake is not terrible, because we do have the DC. He's actually gonna mulligan, too, which is pretty good. Vika Bulu. I think we can win. We can consistently one-shot Bulu. He can't one-shot me effect effectively without doing Flying Flip first. Depends if he does Flying Flip first, though. He's probably going to start with Coco here, I bet. No, he's not. So we're going to do Pokemon Fan Club. Grab Bounce Sweet and Zorua, I guess. Sure. Grab these two guys. I'm going to put a DC on Bounce Sweet. And I'm going to pass. Because next turn we can go Lele and everything, or maybe just draw a rare candy. I have a slight feeling he's going to end me, though, unless he does turn one Bridget. Mmm, turn one Bridget. Oh, I already know his hand is Sycamore Rare Candy Vikapult. I already know that's his hand. <clears throat> Sorry about all the stretching, by the way. 
Gotta get the blood flowing. Gotta get the brain going. Hmm. Is it worth it to swing with Lele? I don't think it matters. Because we can do 120 with the choice band. Okay, I guess. We could actually just knock him out with normal jumping sidekick at some point without even having to play the Nile he goes. That's fine. I guess that works. Um, yeah, I guess so. And I guess we go Ultra Ball for Zoark. Or the other Lele. Yeah, let's just grab the other Lele. I could end him. I don't know what his hand is, though. Probably safer just to go uh, Sika. Sure. Uh, whoa, one Serena's prize. Do we have Stretcher prize? Okay, we don't. Good. Because we're going to need that. I guess we'll go Sycamore. Tempted to put this down now and then just... Hit Chaos Tower. I don't mind that. Worst comes to worst, we can always just retreat and go into maybe a Vulpix or a Coco if we can draw it. So, we got some outs. Okay, we actually got the Chaos Tower, which is good. Um, I think I'm going to Ultra Ball for another uh, Bounce Wheat. I could grab Zoark. Let's just grab Bounce Wheat. Let's just keep Bounce Wheat going. Um, and we are going to Energy Drive him here for 60. I could have put Choice Band on, but he Poison will do the math instead. And let's see what my opponent can do here. Good thing is you have to flip to attack. Skyla. Either it's going to be for Rare Candy or... For, I knew he had the Vika Volt. Every time I always get turned to Vika Volt. Bruh. So annoying, man. Every time, man. It's always turned to Vika Volt. <sighs> kind of scared of Guzma, too, because then we lose our Steenie. Every time, though, man. I hate playing against Vika Volt. <laughs> It's so annoying. Alright, so I'm um, hoping he doesn't have Guzma for next turn. Oh, he's actually building up the active. I'm assuming he's trying to retreat. But if he actually attacks, that's fine. I'm assuming he wants to retreat. If he does that. Nah, our hand's not good enough to knock him out. Ooh, and he gets KO'd by Lele. Yeah, I guess we just take him out Lele here. <sighs> Had to draw that now. Um, yeah, okay, let's just do this. Let's, uh, Sycamore here. Stretcher. We didn't get it. We do, however, have a KO here. And we also got our Serena, and we can damage move her onto the Nyla Higo. So let's do that. The, 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 the mini combo's working. There's two combos. You got the Serena Nyla Higo combo, and then you got the damage mover Ace Rolla combo. Um, so let's just move... 30 onto Nyla Higo. I mean, he's still going to knock me out, but this actually avoids the KO just from not discarding, which is pretty strong. And uh, we'll take him out here. And if we can get a Ace Rolla off of the prizes, this is huge. Rare Candy. I was hoping for Serena Rare Candy, if anything, but that's fine. We didn't get Ace Rolla, but if he does KO me here, we can knock him out with Nyla Higo. Or we can draw... I don't know. I think we just continue to attack with Lele. Like, he's not going to one-shot my Serena. He can't. He can, unless he finds Professor Kakui. And some Vika Bulu are playing that card because of Gardevoir. And Serena just so happens to have the same amount of HP as Gardevoir. But. But. That's a lot to devote. It's sitting on the bench. He'd have to do Guzma in before he plays Countercatcher. Mmm, there's the Guzma. This is actually not good because we can't one-shot him. Hmm. If we can draw a Zoark or an Ace Rolla here, we'll be good. Because Zoark can maybe get us Ace Rolla. We need to find an Ace Rolla so we can Nyla Higo him here. 
Hmm, let's see. That is a solid new. No. I think I'm just gonna retreat. I can't really end him though, can I? No, I can. I think I'm just gonna do Lusamine then for Sycamore and Sycamore. Just get them back in the deck if he ends me here to four. I just need to avoid the KO. He's used up quite a few energies too, so that's pretty good. Maybe we could draw an Ace Roll and Ace Roll the Serena too. If he knocks out Lele, we could do that. And then play the Nihiligo, get all of that damage off. That's a lot to vote for. Let's see if Lele goes down. An end of four? Okay, that's not too bad. Probably should have ended him there, because maybe he would have drawn an energy off of that, and then he wouldn't have been able to have done a strong charge. Oh, the crazy combo is real. We do have the knockout next turn. Uh, 140. Yeah, we knock. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. We got him next turn. We got him. And we could also knock him out with Zorark, too. If we find a choice band. Probably better to do that. I got... Maybe just save Serena for last. I don't know. Like, I want to do the combo at least once, man. Okay, double Vika Volt's kind of scary. Not gonna lie. This does confirm Lele goes down, and he could actually then just do uh, Tapu Wilderness, which is probably what he's going to do, so he doesn't get KO'd by Zoark. This means I am going to have to go into Serena then, which is fine by me. Pardon me. Kind of want to do Tapu Wilderness just to use it now, so we don't have to worry about the Zoark two-shot potential problem. You can knock me out too, just with, I mean, it doesn't matter. I probably do want to go into Zoark here if he doesn't do uh, Tapa Wilderness. Okay, he is. Okay, good. This means we do have to go into Serena. Not what I wanted to do, because I did want to knock him out Zoark here and then finish off one more Pokemon Serena. It's whatever, though. We'll take him out Serena. At least we show off the crazy combo, which is all that matters. I need to find Rare Candy, though, ASAP. So we are going to drop the Nihiligo. And the crazy combo has happened we have pulled it off and we can do this put 30 damage on the other Nyla Higo and we can do Sycamore and let's just hope to find rare candy stretcher no that's bad that's bad actually really bad man if we actually hit that I mean we could get Serena off the prizes here and pray we don't get ended too so let's just see what happens we are gonna knock him out with jumping sidekick however and Serena would be really nice. No. Two cards I don't know if I need right now. That's not good. How many choice bands do you have left? One, maybe. Okay. Because choice band would knock out my Zoark and then give him the win. Stretcher. He's got, he definitely has an end in his hand, even though he's only played two. I already know this man's got an end in his hand. Told you. I'm so good at predicting this game, especially when I'm playing against something like Vika Bulu. I always know they have the right hand to pull anything off. We got a pretty bad hand off that. I think that's game. <sighs> How many Sycamores do I even have left, right? One. I don't know. It's iffy. Potentially, we might have... I don't think we can win next turn. Unless we can draw a Sycamore here, maybe we can win. He definitely has Guzma, though. He's only played, like, one. So he's going to bring a Bounce Sweet or Zorua. I mean, uh, we'll bring a Bounce Sweet, Retreat, into Zorua if worse comes to worse. Sycamore. Damage Mover. That's the last thing I wanted. Man, so close to winning. Oh, man. And I already know he's got the uh, the win here. I already, He's got Guzma in his hand, probably. I guess that's game. Man, we just got really unlucky with what we drew off of that Sycamore we did. 
Like, if we were able to get another Serena down, would have been decent. Because we probably could have, like, done Side Eye or something like that and bought some time. I don't know. It's kind of tricky. I think that ended 2 just screwed me over. Man, that's rip. That is rip. Sure. Doesn't really matter. It's something I don't really want to draw either if he doesn't have a game. So, this has to be the best Sycamore known to mankind. But even then, I don't know if we can win. He's definitely got the thing in his hand. He's got to have Guzma. Because he just Guzmas, goes at Rangaroo, double strong charge, and it's over. Oh, I predicted the field blower. Good thing I lose mean for that Chaos Tower. Hmm. Yep, there it is. Oh, go. Okay, yeah, that's a game. Rip. Whoa, wait. I don't want to see the Privacy Paul now. I was going to concede. We'll give him the win. Unfortunately, we weren't able to beat Vikabulu. I mean, Vikabulu is like a really annoying deck to play against, and it's super lucky, so I'm not surprised we lost that game. Sorry about the salt. I just I can't stand Vikabulu, man. It's such an annoying deck. Anyways, at the very least, we came close to winning. We did show off the combo at least once, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. We show off the combo. And if I was to change anything about this deck, I honestly think I would try and add a third Nyla Higo. I think I would take out Damage Mover. I mean, we just weren't drawing the right cards. Like, we didn't get Zork in place, so we couldn't really try and chain Ace Rolla with Nyla Higo. You know, we did come close to winning. Unfortunately, it just didn't go well. We came close to winning both matches, so I will take it. We showed off the combo. We showed off Nyla Higo more than once in that game anyway, so still a pretty successful game in my books. I don't know how this deck really works. I think an expanded this deck is good, so revisiting this deck and expanded is something that I might do in the future. So if you guys want to see me look at this deck again in expanded, leave a comment down below and drop a like on the video, and I will definitely try and look at this deck in expanded also, because you have more to work with in expanded than in standard, so I'll try and look at it then. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more PDCGO content. Help me hit 3,000 subscribers. We'll hit that one day, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.